everybody. My name is Adriana, and um, I'm doing my informative speech on Rosie the Riveter. How many of y'all know who Rosie the Riveter is? Yay. Okay. <laughs> so for y'all who don't know, I have a picture of her, and maybe y'all know. Okay, this is her. And um, I'm here to inform y'all about who she is and uh, why she was created and what she stood for. Um, um, okay, so first, she stood for uh, like women who worked in factories during um, World War II. And um, she was just like an like, uh, icon for women during the war because a lot of women had to work in factories and uh, help out with like war supplies, like build airplanes and stuff like that. Um, um, the reason that she was created was because during, oh, it was because um, whenever the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor and that's what that's what started World War II, and all the men like wanted to go help out in the war. So a lot of women had to um, help out like with the, the men's jobs, the men jobs because all the men left. So they had to work in factories and stuff like that. Um, whenever World War II started, the government had to like create her because. Um, a lot of women didn't want, didn't really like want to go work in the factories and stuff like that. Like they wanted to like stay home and stuff. But um, whenever she was created, like it, a lot of women started like, like stepping up to the plate and they're like, okay, you know, like we do need to help out, otherwise, like we're not gonna win the war or whatever, you know. Like other people have to help build the war supplies in order for them to do good in the war. Um, After, after the, like whenever the war ended, well, during the war when the women worked there, they, they weren't like created exactly equally. Like a lot of women um, didn't get paid as much as the men would get paid, but, um, but like they still had to work there. And um, a lot of the, and then after the war, when the men came back, the women had to start like a lot of women got laid off, and uh, they they um, weren't getting treated equal, like in the workforce, because they were women. Even though they still did the same jobs as men did when the men weren't there. Um, so she is. I think like to everybody that like all the women that were in World War II or um, I think she started like a good thing because nowadays like girls work or want to be like different things like engineers and like stuff that guys want to be like pilots and nowadays girls are like even enlisting in wars and are becoming um, like soldiers and stuff. Um, after the war, like a lot of the women became housewives and they just went back to their normal jobs and did, um, or went back to like their old job, either like at a like in an office or something. Um, when the women, this this picture is by uh, Norman Rockwell, and it's like a famous. It's like a picture that he he like drew, and it came out in the newspapers during the World War Two. And. Um, So basically, 
she um, just was like a role model for women to become whatever guys were. She just like in shows like a strong woman and um, how. Mm -hmm.